exactly so at the time when it was during the, the height of the people turning against us. Yep. So good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome from Bournemouth Town Centre. I hope this video isn't too wobbly and shaky. I will try my best. I'll also try and straighten it up, whatever, before this goes out this evening. But anyway, I'm here with a couple of friends. I won't put them on camera necessarily because I haven't asked them their permission. Um, and we're heading off with a few people now to meet some who have congregated at the memorial here in Bournemouth Gardens. Um, and decided to go on a march today. Everyone else has, so we are as well. And we thought we'd make good use of uh, of a Saturday afternoon and put a message out to people. So that's what we're doing. So just gonna go and see what's going on. Pretty low police presence at the moment. Literally just got here. A few liaison officers. It seems like quite a nice turnout. Asked not to come today because Prince Philip died, eh? That is terrible. So let's have a look around here and see what's going on. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hello, I'll turn the camera back. Yeah, good. You? Everything all right? Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, sure. You right? Right. We will be, I think, yeah. So, anyway. Just gonna, uh, hello, good afternoon. Oh, you all right, mate? Good to see you. Oh, you're right. Yeah, mate. No, no, no. Yeah, all good, mate. I've been asked, I've been accused of that a few times. And lo and behold, look at that we've been here a few minutes, and there they are again. Nothing better to do, Mr. Spielberg, than to walk around Bournemouth Gardens with a camera in his hand. Wonder if that's the same guys on the coast. Probably. So, there we go. Anyway, so it's a pretty good turnout. Um, and just for clarification purposes, we did do a risk assessment for those who know and who have queried it. So it's not like we've just simply gone ahead. All the boxes have been ticked and everything is fine as far as we're concerned. And as we always say, there's a full cross section of society represented here. Always has been. Um, anyway, take a look down here. Hello. John. John. Stern. Yeah. He's over there. He's over there. We just walked down now from uh, behind the garden. We've just arrived in the garden now. We have to pick up a few placards and stuff. Oh, Joe is there. Oh, do you know Emma? Emma's here as well. Yeah, they're all over there somewhere. I'll just go and say hello to Joe. Alright, so everyone's sort of finding themselves. You right? Hi, Hi Joe. This is what I want to get for my dog. Whose dog is this? So, uh, hello mate, you right? Good to see ya. Probably going to be the winners, I think. So anyway, you right? Huh? It's a good turnout, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good turnout. And Joe's here as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, communication's great, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone gets uh, worried and concerned, and actually, they're all here. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed them up there, though, haven't you? Yes, so they tend to do that. Now they've turned up with a van as well. Um, but anyway. So it's quite a nice turnout. Uh, and I think what's going to happen is we're just going to do our usual round and just have a little walk around. There's plenty of people out and about today in all sorts of sizes of groups, so it's not like we're doing anything out of the ordinary. Just to sort of clarify that as well. Uh, nobody's endangering anybody. Uh, you know, as was suggested a few months ago by one of the police commissioners in Downing Street that his office has contracted COVID uh, on officiating a demo here in Bournemouth. Of course, the demo here in Bournemouth that they officiated never actually took place. So he was lying on that count anyway. But, uh, yeah, he kind of admitted then later on in that same kind of uh, monologue that then again, he couldn't count out that they may have got it elsewhere. Anyway, this is the sort of stuff we've been up against now for months. 
Um, there's been a real campaign to vilify those of us who have gone on the streets, essentially for our human rights more than anything else. I mean, yes, the COVID thing is, of course, the topic, uh, the cover story as far as a lot of us are concerned, for more sinister things, more sinister moves going on in the background. And one of them that's going under the radar is most definitely human rights. Um, because, um, as I've mentioned before, in the beginning of December, I think it was, they um, introduced an independent panel to review the Human Rights Act in the UK. And their findings will be released in September of this year. And so this is a thing that's very important. Um, the lockdown is just part of all that um, process of uh, infringing on people's privacy and basically controlling them more and more and more. Um, we're seeing that through the introduction of furlough schemes, which in my opinion are pretty much dry runs for what's to come. In other words, universal based income, um, for example. So there's all sorts of little things that are gonna be happening more and more um, while everybody's busy arguing about face masks, vaccines, and uh, how far away we're standing from each other. That said, I think there are more people that are kind of leaning towards the fence a little bit now and are a bit more mm, open to the idea that actually uh, what we're told might not, you know, add up, which we've now been saying for a good 12 or so months. Um, and I know a few who have already regretted uh, getting the inoculation, for example. Um, and of course, all right, it might prevent them from taking the second and third one or whatever, however many you have to take, I have no idea. But uh, anyway, yeah, I don't want to go off on a tangent now, I digress. So, good turnout here. And um, yeah, we're just going to wait until everybody's kind of gathered. I think there's still a couple of people missing, as far as I know. And then we're going to make moves and go for a little walk. That's what I think the plan is. So what I might do is I might end up just splitting this video up into parts one, two, and three. Um, and and then that way, uh, and I'll, put, I'll just put them up in, you know, in quick successions on my video, or on my channel. Um, I won't edit it into one video or anything like that. I'll just put them up in different parts. I was going to live stream, but then you're going to have to then stream the whole lot for that to work. Um, so I'll just do it this way. So there we go. That is the scene set uh, for now. Here at the monument, there's the town hall in the background. And at the top there are our friends from um, the authorities on the wall there. I don't know who he was just escalating to. But there we go. So, we will uh, speak soon. Once there's more significant stuff, then I'll uh, continue to film. That's the back of Caroline. I wouldn't normally film the back of Caroline, but I'll make a... Oh, sorry, you don't want <laughs> Yeah, I'll make an exception. Right, we're going to the fort. We're marching. In fact, I'll let it run for a bit. Right? Yeah. When do we want it? Yeah. What do we Pop want? Yeah, tell him to stop filming. When do we want it? Yeah, one on the left there with his arms folded. What do we want? He was like doing this. Like, when do we want it? Yeah, well, don't film us then. Don't film us. When do we want it? Yeah. Hello? Do we want freedom? Right? Yeah. So fuck the nation yeah. of course sports.
Hi right, Darren, you alright mate? Yeah, good, yourself? You alright? Good to see you mate. Good to see you. Hello mate, you alright? Yeah, a nice turnout today. Alright mate. Good turnout. Hiya, you alright? Good to see you. Watch out lads, watch out, watch out. Stand up! Stand up! Women, it was better. Hi Steve, you alright mate? Right? Good to see you. You alright? For well over a year. They sold us three weeks. Three weeks to us your toes. Fingers all in the way, sorry about that, apologies. And they lied. And we knew they were gonna lie. And they continue to lie every single day. They manipulate figures. 93% failure rate on the PCR test, but still they continue. Do not resuscitate orders on our elderly that are in hospital. It is murder. It is genocide. It is taking place now. There are people that cannot have their bodies or their loved ones released to them for burial unless they agree to have COVID-19 put on the death certificate. It is happening now. It is an outrage and we should all be disgusted. People are being put down as COVID-19 when they've fallen down the stairs. Yeah. And it's happening. People get ill, people get ill every single day. This year alone, less people have died in the UK than in 10 years before. 10 years. Where's the pandemic? Where is it? It's not happening. It is not happening. If we were in a real pandemic, they wouldn't need to tell us every minute of every day for a year because we would know it is not a pandemic it is lies manipulation and it is control and it is happening now crush the economy control the people use fear divide and conquer it is happening it is not myths it is happening now it is not a conspiracy theory it has happened it is a conspiracy and it's a fact and it is happening today every single one of us needs to stand up now every single one of us has a right to stand up and a moral obligation to stand up if you love your family and you love your future you must stand now and say i do not comply i do not comply 
to this nonsense anymore. I will walk where I want. I will go where I want. I will embrace my loved ones. I will see them. I will embrace them. I will be a human being. I demand it. Yeah. All right, Paul. All right, hey. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Of course. Each and every one of you standing around today watching us needs to ask yourself Can I trust Boris Johnson before COVID 19? Do I trust my hard cop? There's a police on the right there. There's a policeman up there. And we've been filmed down at the moment. We need to trust them. And up at the town hall. So it's really terrible and modern, but it's still a lot. I didn't go up the town hall before. Because they have lied to us time and Good time, time again. Yeah. Yeah. Throughout the first lockdown, 30,000 cancer appointments were missed. If you are under the age of 15, you are more likely to be hit by lightning than to die of COVID. Yeah. If you are between the ages of 30 and 60, you are more likely to be And whoops, my finger again. Must pay attention to that. Pause the footage and get back to you all later. Caroline, always with a message. Anyway. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. Ta ta for now. A bit of a chilly, grey, and overcast Bournemouth. <laughs> 